Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be going straight into the Bitcoin chart for you where we're going to be going over the current support and resistances to be aware of when trading Bitcoin. I also want to give you some insights into this trade that I'm currently in which is sat in around uh, $65,000 profit in less than one day of trading. I'm going to be giving you some insights into this trade of how I will manage it going forwards, where I'll be looking for the stop loss, the take profits and looking for my next entries if and when we get a drop to the downside. So I feel this is going to be very insightful, educational, and just a great historic day of trading. Bitcoin breaking all-time highs, uh, where it was actually the 16th of October 2020. Brilliant day. Hope that you're all enjoying it as much as me, um, because it's been a, been a very fun day. That's, uh, yeah, about $65,000 profit, less than a day of trading. So let's go on to this then. So, I mean, first of all, the way that we broke up. So before I cover what's happening right now, where I'm looking for next, I'd like to cover the breakout that happened yesterday because the breakout was actually very much tradable, very much tradable. Um, so this is what we call monthly levels. So we have a monthly level. This was obviously referring yesterday to around uh, 1 p.m. in England time. And what we were doing was we had a monthly that was $19,734. And this level had prior acted as resistance and when you break resistance and you back test it as support it gives a very low risk entry long position so this is uh, you know i'm giving live updates to the champions as always and i'm saying there i've took a long off the monthly back test uh you know let's go let's go for those all-time highs and the reason you know it's, it's just a real simple case of resistance okay so when you have a resistance level and the resistance is broken, you expect it to act as support. And we'll, we'll use that knowledge with, uh, you know, going forwards to where we are right now. And that was the simple case of me entering a long yesterday. Really simply, resistance flipped into support. I was at around $19,700. Okay. Then, obviously, it was a brilliant entry because we moved up through all-time highs. We broke 20,000, big psychological level that's been holding us down since 2000, well, late 2017, early 2018, obviously caused our big decline down to $3,000 twice. Okay, when we come over to this chart, you can see it very clearly. That was a resistance before we come down to almost double bottom there at $3,000. Um, okay, moving on. Brilliant. We're, we're now at all-time high. So what's the strategy? What's the way I'm trading this? Really simply, long and chill. There's no need to try and short. Okay, long is the only trade for me. I think it's just so important to not be shorting this. Okay, you know, just really, really, really do not try and short Bitcoin. Um, I mean, that, that's probably the one takeaway. You don't want to be trying to shorting this. You know, what I'm trying to do on this account is long the dips. Okay, so uh, you can see here, this is realized profit. So the one thing that many people will do is they will not take profits on trades. Uh, they'll just keep something going forever and ever and ever or hope it goes forever and ever. And that's not what you do, obviously, with trading period. You, you do have to take profits. So you can see this is... Uh, Levels, the way that I'm managing my profits is I'll take profit when we hit a level of resistance, okay? But then when we get through that level of resistance, then I'll add back onto the trade, okay? So that's how I've got the daily realized PL. And again, this is this is over the last nine hours. I've locked in $15,000 and realized they're around $53,000. But what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm appro when price is approaching resistance, I will take profits, if and when we get through resistance, I'll add it back on. This is a sensible way of trading. In my opinion, it's a sensible way of trading. I'm not just, uh, I'm not being a deer in the headlights. I'm, I'm not going to be freezing. I'm not going to be thinking, oh, what do I do next? What do I do next? What do I do next? You know, I had a plan. Uh, so really simply, make a plan, trade the plan. Done. It's as simple as that. There's no need to be feeling FOMO. There's no need to be feeling fear there's no need to be feeling greed there's no need for any of the emotions you can approach this in a very methodical way of highlighting your areas of interest be this to the downside wanting to buy a dip or be this to the upside wanting to to sell um there's no way that you can um you you, you have to avoid the emotions okay i know emotions are going to be flying around left right and center as they always are in trading i i acknowledge that and i know it's not easy but what i hope to do you know giving you some guidance obviously in the champions group giving you some you know guidance in this video it's to bring you to a level of 
okay, let's just take the next trade. And that's exactly what I done yesterday when I was compounding. So I compound, and what compounding means is adding on. So adding to a position again. So let's say you're in a hundred dollar trade. It means then taking another hundred dollars to bring you to two hundred dollars. That's what compounding means. So yesterday I saw this opportunity to compound. This was around seven p.m. England time, and that was while we were at twenty thousand, basically twenty thousand six hundred dollars. And um, you know it's not FOMO when you're buying up high, but it's viewing great areas of value where there's opportunities to get in. And here I was uh, explaining, you know, I'm definitely, you know, honestly, I'm just not interested in shorting at all. But we came down to the point of control. We took some lows. And that for me was enough. And I think in this type of environment, you do have to get aggressive on your positions. This is crazy. I mean, even while we've been speaking, this account has made another around eight thousand dollars. It's you know, <laughs> I'm I'm enjoying this. Uh, but I'm I'm long on all my accounts. Every single account I own is is in longs. So. Um, you know that's brilliant but uh you know helping helping everyone what i would like to say is my strategy the way i'm approaching this is i'm not going to be shorting that's 100 percent. i can tell you i'm not going to be shorting if and when price drops and that's absolutely fine i'll miss out on you know let's say i miss out on even the first 10 percent of the drop it doesn't bother me uh where are potential targets well honestly right now it's a little bit like the targets are getting sliced through like butter i i would imagine that you're gonna you're gonna get some friction at twenty five thousand dollars just because it's a nice psychological number uh you know you've gone through major fibonacci levels so you have gone through major fibonacci levels you've gone through major channels you are basically at psychological levels like like ten thousand dollars was a big psychological level for many months on bitcoin uh just like twenty thousand dollars was a psychological level where people say you know twenty five thousand dollars is a psychological level overall um you know this could potentially push to levels such as fifty thousand dollars onwards you know there's absolutely no reason um you know i feel that i'm very lucky in the regards that my trading history comes from the stock market you know so i've i've done all this before many 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 times on the stock market you know uh recently trading gold that also obviously hit all-time highs you know i've traded all-time highs and i i like to trade all-time highs so you know, you have to take a look at some things such as Apple, my, my favorite, NVIDIA, uh, you know, Tesla. These are all strategies that require all time high strategies and uh, they all run very similarly. You want to let your winners run as big and long as possible. So that means um, not selling everything too early. That means uh, not shorting. You know, that, that's, that's a given. And it means me. It does mean being sensible. So the way that, for example, I've traded Tesla is again when it reaches a big resistance level which tesla is obviously a little bit easier to get resistances but when you reach your resistance levels you, you take profits when you clear it you add it back on that's exactly what i'm going to be doing with this account uh, if i'm totally honest with you when i hit a resistance i'll take profits the next one probably for me is twenty five thousand dollars it's just a psychological level there's nothing really uh there's nothing really technical per se about it but it's it's enough of a it's enough of a psychological level for me to be interested in it, taking profits again i'm not going to close everything not going to shut down, shut down shop. I'm not going to take 100%. But it's an interesting level for me to, to be interested in, in a bit of selling. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of the strategy that I'm going for. It's not, it's not difficult. It's very much, um, it's very much, uh, you know, making a plan. My plan really simply now is trailing a stop loss. What I mean by trailing a stop loss, it means moving it up with the higher lows. There's been no loss of market structure. So some key points to take away, look at market structure, look at the higher lows. And that's really really effective way of trading so we are approaching very rapidly it's 25 <laughs> wow this is crazy but um you know that's that's what i'm going to be looking for um so i hope there's the hope there's been value in this video it's just the real big takeaway that i want you to take away is don't get attracted to short you know obviously you can do what you want but i myself i'm not going to be attracted to shorting this I'm going to be looking to long the dips. So I'm going to be looking to compound. If you want my updates of when I'm going to be compounding and, you know, basically adding to my long positions, I will post that in the champions group for everybody. I've already posted this morning <laughs> that I added to my long again. Um, so there's been lots of updates given by myself for the original longs, the compounding, adding in stop losses, the strategies that I'm using. Um, you know, that's in the champions group if you're interested. For this public video, all I would say is, be careful with altcoins obviously altcoins are dropping as bitcoin is rising that's to be expected people sell their alts to go into bitcoin fomo is obviously absolutely massive right now i mean 
you know you can see that from this video that that's i think like seventeen thousand dollars made <laughs> during a 10 minute <laughs> 10 minutes seventeen thousand dollars made yeah it's pretty crazy but the fomo is big right now um fomo is big all i'm gonna say try your very best not to get emotional i hope to hope to give you some assistance in this video takeaways again i'm going to repeat it one more time i'm going to repeat it one more time do not try and short an all-time high trail stop losses do not get greedy with never taking profits you know there are going to be people that say don't sell you know what i would say or the way i'm approaching it is i will sell but if we get through that resistance i'll add back on if we drop great i can i can i can long much lower again um where would i look for a sign of reversal i would wait for a sign of reversal i'm not going to be you know i've not been sat here saying we're going to reverse twenty five thousand. we're going to reverse fifty thousand. we're going to reverse thirty two thousand. You know, i'm not giving you levels where this is going to reverse i'm just going to say wait for the market to reverse and let's react you know let's make informed decisions let's trade the charts and um basically let's make some money <laughs> let's make some money it's, it's nice um so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video giving you some insights into how i'm managing that trade uh probably put some sort of clickbaity title on it because people <laughs> you know because why not um yeah i'm long on all my accounts it's going well hope that you are in you hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, what i just want to say is thank you everybody so much and i'll give you a more in-depth review of all the trades uh probably i'll do a live stream for you i think oh yeah that's what i wanted to mention we've got the giveaways right now live for the memberships over on twitter and over on instagram so if you're interested in the membership giveaways you can join that giveaway right now over on the instagram or on the facebook and we will select the winners in the next public live stream so you can enter and uh, i guess the public live stream might be friday or might be monday next week we'll see one of those days we'll do that we'll give away those memberships um until then have a brilliant day everybody thank you ever so much and uh champions absolutely loving this cheers everybody thank you and goodbye